The Gifted, Season 1, Episode 9, Thoughts. This episode is called Out Fox. Another episode I love. Spoilers throughout this video for everything live action, X Men, movies, shows, and the like, leading up to and including this episode. Yeah, uh, the show is rated TV 14, so will this vlog be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we go back to one year earlier, and. It's honestly kind of kind of a sweet moment that you know Andy wants to to teach Lauren to to skateboard, and yeah, they hold hands, and we see the the connection that you know the the Fenris twins also had, and we are just out of the one year ago, you know, flashback when Reed starts flashing back to his childhood. <laughs> we almost got a flashback within a flashback, people. This is this is serious. And yeah, uh really appreciate Kate and Reed talking about, you know, whether or not maybe Reed is a mutant because he hasn't told her everything yet. And yeah, Esme is determined that they're gonna launch an uh, a rescue mission on Trask Industries and let's see I like Lauren you know where the library is who are you and what have you done with my brother did people still do that in 2017 I feel like that's I thought that was played out at, at that point that's such an old joke and yeah, they talk about the Hellfire Club. Very, very cool. I'm not entirely sure if we're actually going to see that or if it is just, you know, background, you know, lore kind of thing, which would still be very cool. I, I really, you know, at least they, this time they didn't have to call it the Circle Club. But the, yeah, that is. You know, this is not the first time that the Hellfire, you know, Hell, Hellfire Club was also in X-Men First Class, the movie, so. But yeah, very, very cool. And yeah, Polaris has a nightmare about, you know, all of them being, being caught, even the baby, being at Trask Industries. And we see it is Esme, and that is, you know, be careful around telepaths because you know in addition to reading minds a lot of them can can implant thoughts and let's see yeah um you know dr campbell you know i was hoping that we were gonna see more of him but yeah um he's burnt very badly but still alive and so yeah, you know, Jace continues without him. And yeah, um Marcos wants to go with to to deal with the security guard. And you know, Polaris makes a good point. It's, you know, th this guy is going to be more open to you know, these two young women than if there's also a guy there. And yeah, I like you know the the Kate and Reed talk, and she points out we can't have any more secrets. And let's see, yeah, um, great scene with Polaris and and Dreamer with the security guard. They're just. I'm sorry to say, but it's 100% accurate. We straight men are that gullible. If there's a, if there is one pretty girl, let alone two, talking to us like that, you know, pumping up our ego, you know, they're all like, oh, so you're like the boss. Isn't it scary? Oh, you're not even scared. It's just, wow. And uh, let's see. Yeah, um, and he he says some some really hateful anti mutant stuff, 
and Polaris makes knuckle dusters out of the the I, I want to say it was like the spoon she she had or something like that and knocks them out just you know and <laughs> dreamer is going to make him think that he fell and hit his head on a urinal possibly the one from terminator the saracana chronicles and yeah um so the they're going to test the i think it's for for simplicity's sake i'll just be calling them the fenris 2.0 and I like the thing about, you know, did, did you feel anything? No, not anything other than his sweaty hand. And, yeah, they, they try again. And, you know, they say afterwards, we could feel it all coming apart. Yeah. Very ominous. And, the you know, by the end of the episode, they almost actually did it. And Andy who would have thunk, has to be the voice of reason and say, if we do it here, everyone in this building will die. And... Let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah, after the... the um, yeah, they afterwards they talk about you know Andy says let's let's practice you know let's we 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 have this ability let's let's make sure you know which there is this, there is logic in what he says and yeah as may suggests let's use the Strucker twins the Strucker kids wow she really is determined. And then she drops the detonator, and Polaris says, you know, if that thing falls on the ground, th this could end real quick. And, yeah, and, and she uses the, the memory of the, you know, yeah. You know, she needs to convince Polaris, so she says, you know, have you ever been so, uh, so yeah. yeah. Have you ever been so so upset about you know what was done to your someone you love that you would do anything to to fix it? Which yeah, of course is going to work. And yeah, it's it's honestly kind of sweet that the you know the Struckers are like hugging before the kids go on a mission. Meanwhile, Clarice is like, this is not quite like holding open an elevator. Can we make it? Can we move, please? And, yeah. Um, Jace suggests something, and the other guy is like, this is, we're not going to be able to do this under the radar. You know, they're, we're going to get caught doing this. But Jace is so certain that this time it will work. And, yeah, you know, by the end of the episode, he's caught and collared the Strucker kids and I can imagine also Dreamer though I it's you know the fact that we didn't see it because she said she said in the last episode that she doesn't work well on a moving target I don't think we've seen her try for more than one because if she only if she only gets one of those guys on her side that's not going to be enough. She's going to have to take over several of them. Possibly not all of them, but more than one. And, yeah. There is more than one. They are moving. You know, usually when she's able to use her powers, it's because there's only the one person that's actually, like, a threat. Now, yeah. the, the very Very clever, the thing with, you know... Yeah, she because she lies with confidence. He lowers his the the guard lowers his guard, and you know she said, "Don't don't you remember me?" And you know blows the the blows some smoke up his nose, and the yeah, 
he he takes out the gun and he's like moving towards the Strucker kid is like oh it didn't work you know but no he he just drops the gun which nice little moment of, of tension there because that you know maybe it didn't work and honestly Reed and, and Kate are very sweet together you know both around this point in the episode and and at the very start you know the where he says something like, you know, I was trying to impress you, I'm still trying to impress you, or just, you know, just, yeah. Very, very charming when it's, yeah. And then the, one of the Sentinel robots rolls into the, yeah. And, and you know, Andy makes a, a good attempt, you know, breaking the, at first I thought he was going to try to pull the, it apart but yeah he still doesn't quite have Lorna could probably have pulled it apart you know because we know from early from an earlier episode you gotta pull off all the legs if you only pull off one it just keeps moving easily and yeah Clarice is caught and you know yeah the the Struckers in the in the car talk you know and there's that line you know we can't help them, especially not from the ADR booth. And yeah, the the episode ends with the the Strucker kids choosing not to bring the entire building down and getting caught and and collared. And yeah, very very tense. Um, this is let's see. This is episode nine, so there's I guess four episodes left. Yeah, of of the season, so very very cool. And let's see. Um. Oh right, right, yeah. So I'm to be trivia. Um, yeah. During Andy and Lawrence's research into Fenris, it said that they were rumored to be part of a shadowy international organization known as the Hellfire Club. Originally in the comics, it was only the Hellfire Club's small governing inner circle comprised of a few mutants that did any supervillainy facing off against the X-Men. The club itself was publicly well known and was more of an exclusive members only organization for the rich and powerful. So yeah, that is a a change from the comics. Um yeah. I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing where they where they go next. You know, at this point, Kate is like the only person who hasn't either like Yeah, you know, Reed and now Lauren and Andy have been you know, caught, been, been, you know, put in prison by Sentinel services. Otto was killed by them. Ellen was questioned. I guess they did also try to question Kate, and she, she got away before they could. But yeah, she is at this point the only currently living Strucker who has not been either, you know, caught, killed, or questioned. <laughs> 